Hi, and welcome back. We're going to be continuing where we left off on the previous videos, and we're going to do graphic user interfaces. And so uh, graphic user interfaces are pretty much uh, everything you'll see on a Windows operating system. The one thing that's not really considered a graphic user interface is the command line. So if you were to run the command line, this is not a graphic user interface. This is a text interface. But everything else you see is graphic user interfaces. So if you want to ask uh, the user of your program or the user of your script for some information, the best way is some kind of graphic user interface or if you want to show them information. So there are two kinds of graphic user interfaces that are very simple in AutoHotKey. Those would be the message box and the input box. I'll we'll actually put the input box here. And we have a variable there, okay? And how that works is you get information with the input box and you put it out with the message box. But if you have a lot of information, having just all these pop up one after another, it's gonna, you know, the user's not gonna be very happy with it. They can't do different things in different orders. But luckily, there is a better way. And that better way is using the GUI command, or the GUI command, or the graphic user interface command, however you prefer to say it. So we could say, uh, if we just want to make the basic, you know, just a window with nothing in it of a size that we want, this is how we would do it. We say GUI, comma, everything, the first part here you see is the subcommand, and our subcommand is show, and then parameter two is the options. So um, for this one, we're gonna use the width and the height option. Most of the options work by, you give the first letter of what you think it might be, and then you give a value for it. So if we wanna do width, it would be W, and then whatever we want the width to be. We'll go with 500. And then we put a space, and then we do height is gonna be, I don't know, what should the height be, 300? Sounds about good. And you notice there's no commas in here. If you put a comma like this, it's going to think that this height is actually the third parameter. This will all make more sense in a little bit. Because the third parameter is the title of the window. So we're going to say my first graphic user interface, GUI. GUI, OK? And now when we run this, it's going to show us a window uh, that's 500 by 300. And it's going to have a title my first GUI. Okay, and we run this and you see, uh, just as we thought, we get my first GUI with the bad capitalization and everything, and uh, there's nothing in here. So now we want to add stuff to our user interface. Um, common things you'll be adding are just plain text to show your user, um, buttons, and text entry fields, places where they can type information, and you could have like like 50 places where they could type information, all with different purposes, and they'd see them all at once instead of 50 input boxes over and over again. So uh, we're going to go to the documentation, command reference, and we're going to scroll down, well, not that far down, to the GUI right here. All right, and we want to add something. So we could click Add, all right? And what do we want to add? How about an edit control? An edit control is a box that you can type in, like this here. That would be an edit control. So we'll type Edit, click Edit. All right, and then all these things, uh, for each different control, they tell you all the things you can do with them. But um, we're just going to look at something like this. How about GUI Add Edit? rows 20 and we give it a v or a variable of my edit all right so this is how you're going to be getting uh information from the user it's how a lot of programs like like notepad work if we were to run notepad you see all this in here this is one big edit control and then this is menus which we're not going to cover in this video because uh all this stuff takes a little a little while to get through but we're going to make it edit field. So we're going to say GUI add edit. All right, and let's make it sort of like notepad. So we're going to make it 
rows, we're going to say we want 30 rows. So they can type 30 rows of text. And then after that, it'll scroll. And we're going to give it a width. Let's see, our window is 500 uh, pixels wide. So we're going to make this maybe like 450. And we need a variable for it. So we're going to type V. And uh, we're going to say my edit. All right. Um, so, so far, I know I'm kind of going fast, but there's a lot to cover here. So far, we have a window that shows. But before it shows, we want to add something to it. We want an edit control. We want a text box. We want to make our own notepad. And um, anywhere after this line, if we don't put this this variable here, if we were to cut out that variable, after this line, we'd have no way to, to tell it to do anything with this. We wouldn't be able to get the text from it, or uh, change it, or move it, or anything like that. So we have to tell it what we're going to call it. And we're going to call it my edit. And then the last parameter here, which is where we put the title here, is uh, the default text. So if we want to start out with something like ABC, it's going to start saying ABC when we load the window. And that's going to be our program for now, and we're going to run it again. All right, now you see we have this this edit control. And um, it started out saying ABC, and we could type something here, right? But it doesn't do anything with that. We haven't told it what we want it to do. So uh, now we're going to tie in some other things that we did in earlier videos. We're going to take, we're going to use variables. We're going to use expressions, and we're going to put that all together, and we're going to make it uh, do something. So I'm going to remove this. We're going to let it be whatever size it wants. Um, so we don't have any options there now. And we're going to say return. So after this, just stop and wait for something else to happen. So um, we need some way for it to for it to know when it's done. So we're going to make a hotkey. And we're going to say Control S. All right. So now when we press Control S, if you remember from the hotkey tutorial, everything here is going to be run until we get to a return. And then it's going to stop. So what do we want in here? If you know from Notepad, Control S means save, as it does in many programs. So we want to save this information. So we're going to say, GUI submit. We want to get all the information from our our interface and put it in variables like this variable here. So we're going to say GUI submit no hide. We don't want the window to go away. Uh, otherwise, if you leave that out, it, when the submit runs, it's just going to hide the window, and you're not going to be able to change anything else on it. But we don't want that, so we're going to say no hide. And now. This my edit variable, it now has whatever the user typed in that box. So now if we use my edit, if we say message box, you know, my edit, it's going to give us the value of whatever they typed in the box. But instead of uh, doing a message box, which would work, but uh, that's not what we want to do. We want to save it. So we're going to say file, delete. Um, we're going to say data.text. So if there is a file there, it's going to be deleted. And file append, we see our parameters here. We have the text and then the file name. So we're going to say, we're going to write my, my edit. We're going to write that to a file, and the file is going to be data. Dot, OK, we're making up an ending here. We're going to change that. TXT. All right, so now when we run this, which we're going to do, and we're going to type, this is my document, and some more stuff down here. All right, now I'm going to press Control and S on my keyboard. And it doesn't tell us or anything, but I'm fairly confident this code is going to work. Now we can open all files. We'll just open in the same editor. And here is our, this is my document. Okay. And if we were to change some stuff and press Control-S again, this would be updated. 
and my editor happens to automatically update files uh, if you were a notepad or something it wouldn't so I don't know maybe it's been like five ten minutes and we've already written a notepad replacement we've already written something that can replace notepad and it's like one two three four five six seven eight lines of code um, we could go on and we can make all sorts of things we can make a calculator like this one um, we could recreate everything in Windows but you really need to, to learn these skills and then you can make anything that you want whether it's like a form for something that you use often at work maybe you have to fill out information and you just kind of want a, like a template to work off of that's a common use for this other ones are uh, settings for a program whether you write the program or someone else writes it you can have something that handles the settings you can have something that uh, changes computer information you can do anything you want and this is just a, a nice way to format it um, we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna have a button GUI add button and we're gonna give it something called a G label and what a G label is is it's a go to or when this when something happens to this button we want it to go somewhere else and um, we're gonna make our label you pressed okay so it's gonna find a label called you pressed when we press this button our buttons gonna say save so now we need a label for you pressed so we're gonna go here all right that's all a label is it's uh, it just has a colon at the end of it it's aligned with a colon at the end and we can refer to that in a number of ways we could have something that says go to you pressed that would be a command but um for now we're gonna say when we press a button go to that all right and now we can type our text and we can click our button and then when we close up we can go over here and you see we have our new text so there's all these different things and your main resource your best resource out of all the resources you have is this page right here it's a uh, the GUI page in the documentation and has all the different controls and has all the different things you can do with them and everything so uh, one of the best strategies for sorting through all this information as you could see you could just scroll for a long time and read everything is you press control F in whatever your internet browser is and you type what you're looking for if you want to make a picture press picture okay there we go we found GUI add picture all right and then you can look through the information and uh, this section isn't that long but you can probably figure it out just from this first area here uh, that's it for this video if you have any questions please ask um, I'd be happy to answer them and uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep working on some of this stuff in the next video sorry if this ran a little bit long but there's a lot to cover with this topic uh, until next time see you around